Hello everybody, today in this video I want to show you how to clean the carbon steel pan if, if it starts to stick. Um, first of all, I'm going to clean this stove top. With some alcohol and a kitchen towel. Alright, so I could start by heating the stove and heat the pan on like a medium heat, I'd say. And grab your salt mail. Um, like this size salt. I say coarse size salt. And then with some cheap oil. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, and you could simply use the salt between the oil. and the surface of the pan to create this friction to remove all of the resistant on the surface of the pan to, to kind of expose the steel material change it yeah. So now the surface looks and it feels pretty soft, uh, no, pretty smooth. Okay.
and then get rid of all the salt. Here we go. We got a shining surface. And then the next step is to have oil a little, little bit. High heat. Season it with a th really, really thin layer. This is not even a thin layer. Not, not even thin enough. You gotta make it really thin. like this. Look at this. High heat. Okay. Very, very thin, like this. Oh. Wait it to smoke. There, there is a little bit of smoke here. I see it. Okay. Okay. Turn off the heat. Let it sit there. And a little bit of oil. A little bit more. This is not even authentic way of seasoning. Um, for this pan, I, I don't take it seriously. Just a random seasoning would do the work. I only make uh, eggs and some random things here. So. Authentic th th seasoning requires a lot of effort. Some people put it in the oven, use a certain type of oil. Grape seed oil, maybe. Okay, let's do a test. Fry an egg. This is the bread I got yesterday. A bit. 
bit tricky to open this thing. I'm gonna fry in an egg and eat in this in between this bread. So egg. The two I'm gonna use is a spoon. The entire process of frying this one egg requires one to two minutes. It, uh, it doesn't include heating the pan. Okay, let's heat the pan. Oil in. I'm gonna use that much it's actually a lot a lot for one egg some people even use a lot more some people use a lot more and they use spoons to uh, heat the top of the egg but I'm not that type of first people here we heat the oil uh, at seven. The oil, it's a smoking right now. The oil, I assume, it's hot enough. Uh, I assume. Okay. Crack the egg. Uh, Hope it doesn't stuck on the top of the pan. Season the egg. It didn't stuck. Very good. Uh, we turn off the heat. We turn down the heat. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of water on the surface. And cover with the lid. Okay. And the meanwhile, I'll cut the bread. And get some mayo. Cucumber salad. Then better to have better to 
we have liver greens. So, the egg should be ready and hope we can get it off the pan easily. Okay, here's the egg. Not too bad, not too bad. Here we use the water to clean the pan. Cold water. So it has a rapid temperature change. And we use another paper towel to kind of remove the moisture. On the pan. Removed. And then we add some oil. Hold on. A thin layer of oil. to preserve the surface for the next time cooking. And then we're gonna hand the pan on a hanger outside of, or in, in your kitchen also works. Then here I'm gonna give a, a touch of black pepper. So, here is my bread, egg, and uh, mayo combination. Then I'll have some ample juice drink from Good Morgan. Good Morgan. With with one and two ice cubes or three. If this are not enough, I will have one cup or one serving of protein powder, which is 24 grams per serving. mixed with two hundred fifty milliliter of milk. Here I'm using one point five percent fat milk. That was empty and then here so, and then shake it.
lid on. This is not lit. And I'll put it in the fridge after I've done this. A before. So. That's everything. I have. Uh, should have fried the buns but I didn't have enough patience today give it a try pretty nice all right perfect and thanks for watching hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.